Hey, welcome back to Off The Grid with Bert. Just a quick video on my 2000 watt boost slash buck wind turbine controller. Uh, as I said, it's 2000 watts rated at maximum. Inside it's got two 2000 watt, oh sorry, two 1000 watt um, resistors connected together to make 2000 watts of dump load. It's got two cooling fans in it. Uh, one is for the MPPT side of things and the second is for the resistors. <coughs> On the bottom we've got our inputs and outputs. Our three phases from the wind generator and our battery connection. We have two circuit breakers, one for the battery, one for the brake. And then on the front, we have our control panel. You can scroll through uh, the solar side of the functionality isn't built into this one, so you can ignore that tells you your RPM, your voltage and your amps, gives you your total power, total energy, a few other different settings there, temperatures, errors, and then back to the main screen showing battery percentage and voltage. It's a clear little controller, there's nothing complicated about it. Um, there are settings that you can get into, but it's much easier to do using the laptop, which you can connect in using the RS-232 connector. You can also order these with an RS-485 that one's only available with the solar included version. Uh, I have mentioned to the seller that they need to have a, um, a USB version on that as well, which makes things simpler. But I collaborated with the manufacturer. Uh, this was an AliExpress purchase um, from Avian Wind and Solar. They seem to have the best reviews uh, and a great range of products, including turbines and controllers and stuff like that. Um, it's a big controller. Uh, I had to mount it on its side to fit into the box here. Um, yeah, so look, it's got a nice finish, nice powder coat. Um, if you look at the thumbnail, you can see what it looks like inside. The wiring inside was a little bit scrappy. But everything was done correctly and um, I just cable tied a little bit of stuff up to neaten things up a bit inside. Um, it's programmed specifically for charging lithium batteries. Um, most of these controllers will only do lead acid type batteries but this one having the boost and buck. Um, its charging range starts from about 10 volts all the way up to 100 volts. So it will boost from 10 volts. So it'll actually make use of the turbine even if it's doing a slow RPM. It'll always be milking a bit of power out. Um, and then when it gets to about 54, 55 volts where the battery is um, charging uh, maximum set point is, it'll start to buck. So if the turbine gets up really high RPMs, it will basically continue to pump in the set voltage, which is 52.4 uh, on, on my batteries. So yes, all of those settings can be programmed, of course, using the software that came with it. Um, so far, I'm happy with it, but the turbine that I've got connected is, uh, this is another one of my videos showing the turbine that's currently connected to this. 
and um, it's not doing too good. It's one of those um, type uh, vertical axis type wind turbines. I've got an Instabreeze I1500 coming. Um, that's held up in shipping at the minute, which is getting very frustrating. It should have been here Monday, um, but here we are Wednesday and still no sign of it. Uh, and according to the, um, the shipping update, it's still sitting in Turkey. So uh, yeah, good on your UPS. Talk about uh, mucking around. Um, if anyone's wondering what this is, this is a super capacitor. Um, it's basically a 48 volt super capacitor and a 16 volt super capacitor wired in series so that it can handle the 52.2 volts. Um, and this basically enables you to um, absorb large inrush currents. This will supply 1,900 amps instantaneously um, so that your batteries don't get a hard time when you're starting big loads. Um, there is a Facebook group um, run by a guy, a guy named uh, Ian Go, and uh, he sells these. I'll do another video specifically on these capacitors shortly um, so that you can find out where to get one from. Um, yeah, but anyway, as for the controller so far, it seems to be uh, every bit worth the money. It was about a thousand bucks delivered, and um, yeah, it's so far I'm happy with it, even if it's not really producing a lot at the minute because of the underwhelming turbine I've got connected to it. Uh, once the Easter breeze arrives, um, it's really going to give it a workout. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, um, and please comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks. Catch you later.